This is The Danger Room, a store located in Anderson, Indiana, home to a community filled with memories, laughter, strategies, collecting, and so much more. Throughout the years of me hanging out at The Danger Room, I made so many friends. I grew up in this city where I bought my first pack of Pokemon cards, and right here at The Danger Room where I had my first Pokemon battle. But my story isn't any different than the next generation. This is the story of Isaiah's first regional tournament and his journey to become a Pokemon World Champion. He's here! Hello. <laughs> what is your dream when it comes to competitive Pokemon playing? Probably a Worlds Invitation. I know it's a big goal and I don't know, in the future it'd be super cool to go to a Worlds. My name's Isaiah and I want to become a Pokemon Master. I've done League tournaments. I've gone to Building Battles and Fun 100, which is the type of tournament they do here. It's kind of like 100 HP Pokemon or less. But this will be my first like official tournament by Pokemon, like big tournament. All right, so we're getting my stuff packed up for Peoria Regional. Super excited. And first of all, you know, I got to bring the trade binder in case anybody wants to trade. So now if we have the trade binder, go ahead and put that right there. I was deciding between pink dragon shield sleeves, pro matte eclipse sleeves, yellow, love the color. Decided on the pink dragon shield sleeves. I'm pretty happy with my choice. They look super nice on the deck. Okay, there you go. Since I chose the pink dragon shields, why not put my extra ones in there? Always a good idea to bring extra sleeves to a tournament. And then finally, my trusty backpack. This is where I'm gonna be carrying everything in. I'm going to zip this up and then put it into the backpack here and carry that. Long awaited, but we're finally here at the Peoria Civic Center for Pokemon Regionals. When I was younger, I did tournaments and I obviously came to the danger room too to play in, uh, play in Pokemon League, trade with people, but as someone uh, with a lot of anxiety, especially growing up when I was a lot younger, I got nervous about a lot of stuff and I never had the the ability within myself to, to go to a big tournament. The day before, are you nervous? Um, yes. Yeah? Like just a little nervous or a lot? Well, it depends. I'm scared of starting matchups, but I'm doing fine. All right, Dad, how are you feeling? You know, I'm feeling pretty good. We got a chance to see the Civic Center, and it's a great place, a lot of energy in the room, and uh, yeah, you had a chance to practice, so we'll see how it goes. And you got off school early, right? Yep. Ah! <laughs> That's the most important It's part. a win, right? It's already a win. Hi, my name is Todd. I'm Isaiah's father. You know, Pokemon has been around our house for several years. Uh, his brother and sister collected uh, some cards, and so we've been aware of Pokemon and kind of around the edges of the community uh, for a number of years. Now, uh, over the last few years, Isaiah has uh, been uh, not only collecting but beginning to build and then beginning to watch more videos and then has recently uh, started his own YouTube channel and all of that kind of works together. Uh, the more he, he learns about it, the more he grows into it, the more he's interested in it and it's kind of cascading and snowballing. I also have a YouTube channel named Pokestud and I mainly upload competitive content on it. I also do some pack openings. I've been doing it for about I'd say six months now. Uh -huh. And it's going really well, and I just love making it. I wish I could tell you I knew a lot about Pokemon, but I am learning every day. Isaiah is uh, constantly um, studying about and learning more about Pokemon, and he'll he'll show me cards and he'll often tell me I'm interested to know about the artwork. But he's also into the mechanics of the game, and so you know, Pokemon is not only um, the cards are not only cool to look at, but but the game is well designed and. It's complex and it's multifaceted, and so I, I know he appreciates learning more about that, how to play well, and how to build decks. I'm playing Kazooie and Zoic V Star, and I'm super excited about it. I th think I have a counter to most of the decks going in. Like, I've changed some cards in it to make it so it's better for the meta it is right now, but I've probably been working with this build for about a month now. Something I'd really suggest is if you're trying to compete against like meta decks and stuff, then you should probably look into. Japanese cards and see what's going well in Japan if you have tournaments in the future and it's really helped me out and I think I'm very prepared for this. I really think 
something that this deck could walk very well. It's super consistent. I've tested it out a lot, and it does very well against, like I said, um, multi prizes. But single prizes is definitely its weakness. I've added a lot of cards like Canceling Cologne, if you know what that does. It kind of starts off in Mill Tank, like Blissey Mill Tank. Mm -hmm. And I have Boss's Orders to get around a lot of the cards. I have Avery to get around Nazi Gigas. It's morning time, the day of. Are you ready? Yes. I'm kind of nervous, but I think I'll do decent. What's your goal? <laughs> to meet Andrew Majim today. Okay. You think it's possible? Yes. A lot of people are saying Palkia Vista is probably going to be an enemy of mine because I have to fill up my entire bins using Zorak Vista. It, I, like, it has the attack that does 50 more damage for each damage counter on one of your Pokemon, so that means you have to fill up your entire bins to do a lot of damage. Palkia benefits from that. Obviously, Palkia is a very popular thing right now. With the build going on as Kion V Max, which just came out of Lost Origin. But at the same time, I can knock out Kion V Max. Just a double Kion V Max knockout is win or Palkia, Palkia, Kion. It really depends. I honestly haven't had much struggles to play against it. Game face is on, boys. Oh, dude, well, I'm not the one competing today. It's all about him today. <laughs> Isaiah and his family were responsible and they got here yesterday, early yesterday, and got their wristbands. Us, however, got here late on Friday. <laughs> yeah. And uh, didn't get our wristbands in time, so now we're waiting. <laughs> I didn't see how this first regionals goes and regardless of you know where it goes or how it goes we believe that it will just be probably the first of, of many okay so we we made it in oh are you prepping oh wait is this your mat yeah show us your mat I'm using the Oh, nice. First regional play mat. It's got the logo and everything. Like thorough shuffle. Yeah. Shuffle again. Oh, wait, it matches the it matches the play mat, too. Yeah. It looks so shiny with the Pikachu on it. I know. Can you, would you wear it to school? Yes. <laughs> you think you'd lose it? Yeah, probably. You said you found a Dragonite in here? Yeah, somewhere. What about what about that giant furret right back there? Oh, oh look at that. Dad to the rescue! <laughs> she stands up. Are you gonna use the Are you gonna use the Dragonite during the tournament? Oh yeah. And set it right beside. Definitely. The group hey! is all here. Hey! Exist. Hey! Everybody's here. Your table twenty-eight. Table twenty-eight. Yeah, table twenty-eight. Okay. Twenty-eight. All right. All right, you're going into your first game. Yep. What's your thoughts? First game at regionals. I'm hoping to fight a two prizer. Let's see how it goes. Good luck today, players. Let's go. Round one is over. We don't know the result yet, but what what are you feeling here? <laughs> a little nervous. <laughs> um, kind of waiting to see if he takes the yellow slip to the winner's table. In fact, wait a minute. Uh-oh. I think I'm over here. He has it in his is hand. Uh, I need to bring this up to main stage. I won the game. You won? Yes! I went 2-0. Yep. Nice. They were playing Jolty on VMAX, and I instantly shut it off with Manaphy so they couldn't attack my bench, and it, was, it worked out really well. Hey, he's playing short. I saw one of the senior playing to it, but it was a oh, very just odd one? Yeah, it was a very odd deal. As we drive to the danger room, and, and particularly the ride back. The ride over is often filled with, um, I brought this deck and I'm excited about that. And you know, hey, what are you gonna, what do you think you're gonna do tonight? Well, I'm gonna test this deck. And then on the way back, you know, we're, we're talking about how the games went, were there any trades tonight, and who was there, and. Oh, I started going to the danger room, whew. Uh, <laughs> since Pokemon first got introduced here in the US, is basically when I started going to the danger room. You know, so we're talking, we're talking late 90s at this point. And the danger room was actually in a different location so it still stayed in the same city however it's in a different building now than it was when I was uh, a kid it was across town to be that kid going to the danger room when Pokemon first came out and now it is like a full circle situation to where when I was younger I saw all these adults coming and playing card games and stuff and like I looked up to them and I was like oh man that would be awesome to you know to kind of get to just come to the danger room and, and hang out all the time and, and go to tournaments and stuff like that and now full circle like I'm the adult now and there's a new generation uh, with with you yep. you know Isaiah coming to coming to the danger room and you're going to the tournaments now and you're coming to me because you know you like you want advice of like what a regionals tournament is like and it's met week after week um, that there will be several other people you know different ages 
who have all kinds of different interests but have this kind of common passion for Pokemon. Their favorite strategy and their favorite deck, favorite Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon is probably Dragonite. He has always just been one of my favorites. I like the Dragon Pokemon, but I love the positivity of like Dragonite. That's also a reason I watch your channel and like positivity on your channel. Well, thank you. I like Venusaur. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm a fan of Venusaur. Uh, you know, like, like Isaiah, I, I appreciate the artwork and particularly some of Venusaur's artwork and this it's cool design. Okay, so we're waiting on the outcome for round two and uh, we have no idea what it is. However, he stood up and sat back down and now some judges are over there. They're talking. We have no idea what the outcome is, but we are eagerly awaiting. So it's, it's clearly over. Seems to be a deck check. A deck check? Yeah. Uh, for, for both of them, or? I asked what's going on on table 11, and they just said deck check. All right, what's, what happened? Uh, I lost to straight Palkia, and there was no Kiom in it, or what, I started, so I wasn't able to not, um, get them. I almost won, but I ended up losing, and a judge came over because of my sleeves, so they just got a warning, though. Oh, they just got a warning? Yeah. Okay, but you st so it's still a loss on... Yeah. Okay. But you'll get it. Round three. Yep. Round three. It's not, We're only second round in, so this is good. Hoping for a good matchup. I'm currently 1-1. One, one. Some of his best friends are a part of this Pokemon community, and, and even if they don't come here to the Danger Room, they'll they'll talk about it at school, and they'll trade, and they'll watch the YouTube videos there, and, and, and when we're surrounded by, you know, friends who share some common interests, and who, you know, believe in us and what we're doing, that goes a long way. My class is supportive of it in a way. They kind of make fun of it at times in a friendly way, but they are super supportive of it. My teacher is actually supportive of it. That's cool. Kind of nervous. My entire school is going to watch this video. <laughs> like it's no, it's inevitable for it not to happen. My entire class is watching it. We cut out time just to do this. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, I lost to Garantina Vista. So first round, I had my, I was going second, and they got the crime rant set up with four things in the lost zone, so they could attack for three. And I resourced into hand of three double turbo energies, and then um, like two resources, or like a resource, I think my psychic energy. The, my only option is to resource away all my energies, and so I can't get them back or anything, and that would mean I would lose instantly. So I waited like three turns of passing, and they knocked out my crime rant, like with crime rant, they knocked out my Zoic V, and then on the third turn, I do, and I still do nothing, and I lost. And then second game, I have Mana Fiend active and no way to get anything. I have Evo Incenses, and I have Evolution Zoix and Prevail, and then they just turn one down to me with Kramer Ant. It happens, man. It happens. He really wants to meet Andrew Tricky Jim, so I'm going to send him a DM on Twitter and uh, meet up with him. All right, time to open up. Oh, my. <laughs> I picked this up at Walmart on our way here, so I've had it all week and I've just been waiting for a good time. <laughs> so we're sitting in the, the food and beverage area, just kind of hanging out. We just got done eating, you know, very, <laughs> right, very nutritious <laughs> stuff. All right, you go ahead and, you go ahead and uh, open it up. Let's see what's inside of it. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Put me up on, and oh. then... Dragonite Beast. We're gonna have Dragonite hold the Dragonite for us. Oh, oh, oh nice. And a Rainbow Rare Candela. And... Oh, 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 oh. Anti Ranitar. Oh, Mewtwo. Oh, that's a little Pikachu. And there's a Moltres. Gyarados. And then a Slacking Beast. <laughs> Another Ultra Rare. There's something back there. Okay. Oh, 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 There's one pack left. No, one pack left. Really have, we, out of space here. Have, have we established you're, you shouldn't open it? Let's let's. Uh, have I, I'm not opening it. No, 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 I'm not. Mean. I'm not opening it. We got War Turtle. Oh, Spark. Oh, oh, are no. you serious? <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> one more thing. I got. I got another surprise for you. I got this awesome team dragon shirt. It has a big dragon eye on it. And then it says Team Dragon. Right. Now you got now you got an awesome official Dragonite shirt to wear. <laughs> What's the result? Uh, I won against my worst matchup again, Palkia, and I got to game three, so I I lost game one, won game two, and then game three, final turn of the match for the time. 
Oh, uh, he hit I, time. Yeah, I moided him into the perfect hand and he was able to take the win. It's super fun to hang out with people and talk and do some trades, but the main thing for me is practicing for upcoming tournaments and just practicing in general. I want to be the best I can and I practice decks here. And to be honest, when you're practicing, the best possible thing, in my opinion, is actually to lose the game because you take away so much from that. Uh, Isaiah, your mother and I and your brother and sister, we all believe in you. Uh, we've we've seen this kind of potential, the kind of potential for you to bring what, what, what you love and what you care about and what you're interested in and what you're good at, um, to bring that to the next level and, uh, and to bring it in a way that um, where you're able to e express your joy for the game, but also with, with humility and, uh, and just this sense of, you know, you're, in, in the, you're on this journey, you're kind of on this ride with others as well. And I just want to encourage you, you know, now and next year, you know, 10 years down the road, just to kind of continue to be that kind of person. All right, you just finished round five. How'd you do? Uh, I, so I won first game against Guja Vistor, and then second game it ended up going to time because it took so long, and then I was able to knock out on round three, and I won the game. So oh, nice! I won my game against Guja Vistor. Dark Beast is pretty strong against Good Dark Bond. Making yeah. a comeback. Yep. I absolutely stomped me on match. <laughs> <laughs> so this was the first time playing it, and I've been playing it for five months, and so I, every time they did something, I knew exactly what they were going to do. I played around it and before they even did it half the time. Uh, all right, so you're three and three then, right? Yep. Perfect. You didn't give up. You kept going. Yep. Somebody's even playing Joy Beast on the live. Yeah, we were noticing that, yeah. yeah. Well, congratulations. You did a great job. First time coming to a regional. That's a 3-3. Three, three. That's yep. good. So, if you can get into this range, there's a good shot you got into that range. Because people had people had two losses, people had two wins and ties. We're figuring out what place you're in. Yep. All right. Well, we'll figure it out in a second. Probably not top 32. Uh-oh. <laughs> I got 30 thought. Oh, nice. That's fun, right? Yep. There you go. Good Thank job. You. One away from a booster box, but that's still a lot of packs. 18. 18, 18 packs. so half a, half a box then. Yep. You want to open up one of the final packs? Do you want me to? Yeah. So All right. Open up this one. Superstar. Uh, we'll put that right up there. Komala. For a bink. Thornton, that's really good. Oh. Ooh, I need that for my deck. Nice. Nice. Another train. I pulled the other trainer gallery too. Nice. And then, uh oh, two for one. Two for Ooh. one. Going into oh, Enamor! Enamor's out of an Enamor's pack on an Enamor's play mat. What do you think you've taken away from being in this tournament? I figured out um, kind of how it all works. Uh -huh. and people here are super friendly. So you think you're more well prepared for the next regional event then? Oh yeah, definitely. Good, good. Do you think you will try to play um, like a more meta deck next time? Um, Yeah, probably. I kind of played a little bit like tier 2 deck. Definitely not the best deck, but I mean, it was fun. And I didn't want to go all out playing like the best deck yeah. the first time. And I've been wanting to play this for a bit. So I decided it's probably best if I play it. You had some close calls in some of the games that you lost though. Yes, yeah, so I, I got super close on a few Palkia matchups, which is my hardest matchup, so. What would you tell somebody coming to a regionals for the very first time? If you were to give them a piece of advice, what would that piece of advice be? Um, You'll play better the less nervous you are. Just try and Calm down, talk with your opponent, because normally your opponents are also going to talk. Like, most of the time they're going to talk and it'll make it a lot easier. Oh, we still recording? Hi guys! <laughs> <laughs> what are you going for, Mark? You're about to ring toss. I mean, Isaiah wants the double deck box in the back, so I think I'm going to go for it. I mean, all I have to do is really loop it, right? There you go. Hey! hey! Awesome! What did you end up getting? Oh, nice! It's now closed. What was your experience like going to a Pokemon Regionals in Peoria for the first time? The people there are very, very nice. Like, I met a ton of friendly people. It's really organized well. I mean, there's a ton of, like, vendors you can go to on the side, which is, like, any card you could ever imagine. I was quite nervous. I was like a little bit shaky, but more of just scared that I was going to mess up because it was my, my first reason. It was like maybe like not registered correctly or I mean there's a line you definitely have to wait in to get registered. It's not too long normally, but I was so nervous in that line. Like what if I registered wrong or what if I did this wrong? I don't know, but it, it all ended up being fine. So if I had to take one thing away from it, I would definitely say 
if you're building the deck, keep it consistent, keep it very like straightforward, good deck. Tricky Jim, Andrew right here. Yo, the Tricky Jim oh. Breaking Nate collab. What's oh, up? Oh, finally. This I is know. the first, first time I've ever met you yeah, this uh -huh. weekend. So yeah. it's long overdue. I know. It's long overdue, man. So I appreciate you. No uh, problem. Going to meet Isaiah because he's super, super excited. So this is uh, this is Isaiah right over here. He's a huge fan, huge fan. Yo, what's up, man? Uh, it was pretty cool. I'm um, he's definitely a big role model for me when it comes to competitive because I believe he's the most popular competitive Pokemon on YouTube at the moment, and he's a super nice. I mean, he's very friendly. He's just as friendly as he is on his videos. And he talked to me about a deck, and it was just really fun meeting him. He was super cool. And yeah, thank you for that. <laughs> if you're playing Melanie, Radiant Greninja can help put the water into the discard pile so you can Melanie. So that's kind of the thought. But Radiant Gardevoir is also very good. Good stuff, good oh, stuff. Well, fun. it's been a pleasure meeting you, Isaiah. Yeah. And hopefully you have fun the rest of the weekend. I was also going to ask one thing. Sure. Can I sign my hat? I would love to. Um, I'm trying to get some people to sign. I see, I see. There's some names I recognize here. Oh yeah, you know, Dave. <laughs> Have fun the rest of the weekend, man. It's really awesome to be able to see someone your age, because I was that age coming to the danger room, so it was awesome to see to see you have the courage to go to a regionals event because at that age i i never would have had the the courage and ability to so it, it's absolutely inspirational to me but i'm sure it's inspirational to a lot of people watching as well last question here for you what has your experience been like filming this documentary over the past how many months now i mean just oh, your overall thought um, I really have enjoyed it. It's been a very, very fun experience. Very nerve-wracking at some point. It's been super fun, and I, 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 I don't know much to say except I've really enjoyed it. The friends I made at the Danger Room growing up, I'm still friends with to this day, and I still hang out with. I just hung out with one last week, and he's one of my best friends, and a matter of fact, you know, I met him at the Danger Room playing five, almost years ago <laughs> playing playing games and he was the best man in my wedding too like that's how close of friends we became and so you know when you when you play games whether it be pokemon or another game whatever it may be um, you create these bonds with people and those bonds grow over time and you really create some long-lasting friendships that you cherish forever pokemon definitely does bring people together it does pokemon does bring people together